Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from SelfMadeSuccess.com, and we're going to talk about your home office today. If you have a home office, there's a lot of ways you can make it better, and there's a lot of ways you can really screw it up. I'm going to go over a few of these different ways. I'm going to point them out in different pictures so you can kind of see what to look for, and um, we're going to get right to it so you can be more productive in your home office. All right, so. One thing you want to do is obviously keep it organized, keep it, you know, less cluttered. Otherwise, you're going to be spending too much time um, looking for things and trying to find old papers, things like that. Notice how organized these shelves are. Notice how clean it is, how little they have on their desk. Only have the bare essentials in your work area especially the part you spend the most time in around your desk okay you don't want to um, stress yourself out just trying to find old papers and things that you should have you know conveniently located to where you can just grab it really quick and not waste any time um, another thing I want to recommend is you cut out your um, your personal TV, your iPad, your things like that from your workspace. As you can see in most of these uh, workspaces, there's not a lot of like miscellaneous things to distract them with. Um, you can see that there's not television screens, there's not, you know, there's maybe some windows. Windows do a really good job of helping you kind of get your mind off of what you're doing for a few minutes look outside you can kind of um, you can rest your eyes a little bit you know when you stare at a computer screen too long you're gonna have all this blurry vision and all this kind of stuff um, I recommend having if you can do it have a room with some windows in it for your office and make sure you separate your personal life from your work life make it like a real office that you might have you know at a actual corporate building or something just with obviously your own personal touch and everything but you don't want to have a big TV screen or anything like that in there and um, you know the less distractions you have the better so another thing I would say that you need to probably do with your um, home office you might want to have a little bit of greenery in there. You might want to have like a plant. Um, this is an example, just a couple of small plants. Um, here's another one has a little plant in there. Another one has a plant in there. You'll see kind of a common theme. There's like a plant in a lot of these. There's one, here's one back there. Um, a lot of these have a plant because it helps you relax and feel kind of one with nature. There's kind of a, you know, relaxing thing about that. It's hard to explain, but it really can make you feel um, more relaxed and at ease when you feel like you're kind of have a little nature in there with you, and it's not just a, you know, wood and walls type of thing where you have nothing that no windows, no trees, no plants, nothing. You just feel like you're completely off away from the world. Um, so yeah, get a plant, have a window where you can look out every once in a while. You need to rest your eyes every few, you know, every hour or so just to kind of keep yourself from, you know, losing your mind or just getting blurry vision and things like that and have your storage everything where you can find it quickly the last thing you need to do is waste a lot of your time trying to find things and uh, make it toward the organization is pretty good obviously you might not be able to do all these things if you're in a tight space or if your office is part of your living room or something but if you can avoid have your avoid having your TV in the same room avoid having you know maybe your smartphone in the same room avoid having your iPad in the same room um, things like that can really um, can really help you. You might not even think of those things, but less distractions, less clutter, um, a little more nature in there can really make a big difference. Obviously, you want to have some good seating. 
and I actually recommend you have a standing desk. Let me see if I can find a good um, example of a um, standing desk in a home office. You might want to do that to just keep, you know, keep yourself, keep your blood flowing through your whole body. Um, you can get something like this. Some of them are actually, you know, they they go up and down, so you can use it sitting down or standing up, or you know, you can kind of do what I did. I just we just kind of built one, and you have one side that's mainly where you stand, and another part of your desk you mainly sit. You know, most of the time I like to stand now because I get really tired, really groggy, kind of bored if I'm just sitting down all day. I don't know if you feel the same way, but it also makes you healthier. So, you know, doing something like this can really make a big difference. Um, just standing up and doing your work that way um, can really help you get the blood flowing, get in a little bit better shape while you're working, and uh, give you a little more energy throughout the day. Okay, so you eliminate distractions, get some nature in there to kind of calm you, to make you feel a little better about um, not being so closed off from the world while you're working. Uh, get some windows out so you can kind of rest your eyes and look outside, see what's going on out there. Um, get a standing desk if it's something you think you could do to just kind of keep your blood flowing, keep your energy up. Uh, another thing is obviously keep everything decluttered if possible and eliminate your distractions, okay? Other than that, that's about it. You might have a few couches or something like that for your... Um, guests, if you have meetings in your home office, things like that, you might want to keep that in mind. Um, have some nice seating for your guests so you can kind of relax, take the load off, and uh, just kind of unwind a little. And sometimes you just got to get out of your chair, you know. You have that same office chair all the time. It can get uncomfortable after a while. If you have a laptop, you can move it to the couch, or if you just want to take a a, a nap or something, you're hard at work, you don't want to completely just turn everything off, you can go take a little power nap or something on the couch, you can have your meetings there, you know, and it's all in the one productive space, you know. So that's what I would recommend as far as a home office goes, just keep it to where it's productive, think about what you would have in a corporate office, obviously you don't want it to be exactly the same or it would be just be boring and it would depress you because you'd feel like you're at a job, but you can add your own spin onto things and still make it a very productive environment, alright? So, other than that, that's about it for this video. If you like the video, please like it. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, I'll have more videos coming your way. Just tips for being a better entrepreneur, getting better results, being more productive, um, getting more done in less time how to do marketing, how to do actual strategies that will get you more results, how to get more social media followers, how to get more engagement, how to get more leads, how to get more sales, things like that. Um, don't forget to leave a comment if you want to add some things that you've learned over the years about how to create a better work environment um, and things like that. If you want to uh, just let us know maybe your experiences with that or what you thought about the video. Leave that in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. And other than that, don't forget to visit us at selfmadesuccess.com where we'll have more in-depth training, you know, more of the nuts and bolts type stuff where uh, we'll show you how to do specific things to make your business more profitable, to start your first business if you're new to this, or to just be a better entrepreneur, a better person, you know, more developed uh, leader, things like that. So, other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one, and I hope you have a great day.